Hey, hey, Grub Gun here, so come on in and grab a beer. I've got some video games that you might like to see. Hey, hey, Grub Gun's back, sit right down, we can have a chat. Thank you all for coming here with me. You're my YouTube family. That better be good because I'm not doing it again. Hey, hey, I'm back, everyone. Again. I keep looking over there because the fucking TV. Uh, you don't even want to know. I got this fucking jury rigged fucking setup here. One day it'll be better when I have access to a better camera. Right now it's fucking. What is this thing called? Microsoft fucking webcam cinema HD fucking. I bought it off a little Chinese fella in McDonald's. No refunds. If I had bought three of them, I would have got uh, free egg drop soup. <sighs> Racist. Okay, I'm back, everyone. Hey, hey, Grub Gun here. <laughs> For some more this that's happening. I'm, uh, oh, it's been, it's just been a riveting couple of weeks here at, uh, Grubkin Palace. Let me tell you, I've, uh, officially gone back to work. So, of course, I worked two half days last week. So, you know, my schedule's really tight now. So fitting in these videos is, is kind of difficult. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm always, I'm going. I'm just always going all the time. I can't fucking stop. You know, right now I've got load of laundry in, you know, fucking drinking tea here. That's, this takes up half the day, personally, for me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a busy guy, basically, and, you know, squeezing in 20 minute videos uh, is, every couple of weeks is, is all I can handle, to be honest. I, you know, I just, I'm, I just, you know, I, I only come up with enough material for 20 minutes every every couple of weeks. And I, I mean, the fact that my video is usually 40 minutes, you know there's only 20 minutes of material in there. So, uh, I'm back, everyone! See, I always fall back on the, the bullshit. So yeah, it's been a really thrilling week, back at work. Next week, for sure, I'll be back at work full-time, which is four days a week, maybe half days. But I got a raise, so, you know, this guy right here, you know, he got a raise, because, you know, I'm so good at what I do. Catkin buzz cutted my all my hair off, so I've got this short thing going on up here. She loves doing it, right? I actually do, yeah. She loves it, and, um, I look kind of like a guy who's had knits, except I still have the beard. I look like a hobo, basically. No, 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 no. Well, a sophisticated hobo. <laughs> sophisticated hobo. Can I put that on my business card? You probably could, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, haven't shaved off the, uh, the mess down here yet, but... Uh, Maybe I will. Who knows? Fuck. When I shave this off, though, I don't like it. You can see all seven of my chins <laughs> and my superfluous nipple that's here. Yeah, but that's one of the reasons why I'm with you. Yeah. My face nipple? Yeah. Oh. It's so cute. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. See, and this is... It's, it's for banter such as this that you tune in, I'm pretty sure. Or tune out, as it were. 
So yeah, I've been playing. Uh, played. I, I only finished one game in the last little while. I know you're thinking, Jeremy, you fucking finish games for a living. This is your fucking job. You you are the game finisher, and you've only finished one game. What the fuck's wrong with you? You fucking lost it. You lost your shit. Basically, is what's happening. Well, I was. I did start playing Assassin's Creed Revelations on the 360, but you know what? Wasn't feeling it. I'm not down with fucking Ezio Ezio's story anymore. The guy's a fucking punk ass, and uh, the story was weak, and the controls are lame, and the game's lame. So I didn't play it. I, I stopped, and uh, what I did is, Catkin and I were sharing a PS3. She would move it over to her fucking setup over there, and uh, she'd play Disgaea 4. Now, Disgaea 4 is like a 500-hour game, especially to someone fucking mental. And um, <laughs> so she's fucking hammering the shit away on the fucking PS3. Oh, that's bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, I can't play any PS3 games because, you know. And uh, so what I did is I went and got a fucking another PS3. A fucking slim... PS3 with a little slim one with the slidey top on it. So now she has her own PS3. Played Disgaea 5 on it. 4. Sorry. It's a different sale. look the fucking same anyway. Disgaea 4 on it. And she can hammer away at that for fucking hours and just really enjoy herself. And so I got my fucking PS3 back. And so I started playing Saboteur. And this is a really fun game. I had a lot of fun. And I mean, like, you know, you're in the game, you're fucking running around, you get to shoot some Nazis in the head, you know, and they're there, they're all like fucking Hogan's heroes, fucking Nazis, they're all fucking stupid. And, uh, but this was a really fun game. And this is fucking a dirt cheap game. So, I mean, like, if you feel like going out, dressing up in some kind of a little cap, being some drunken Irish guy who likes smoking cigarettes and shooting fucking Nazis, this is the game for you. Oh, and hanging around French people. You know, there's there's ups and downs to the game. But, I mean, you know... Yeah, it's it's kind of fun. Uh, the driving mechanic works really well. The fucking... The shooting works really well. I had a lot of fun with this game. Um, there are some awesome fucking glitches that I came across in this game, too. Like... There are certain times when... I don't know whether it was just my game or fucking that's what the game is like. But there were times I was getting shot. And I had no idea where I was getting shot from. And there were Nazis that were literally walking, like, in the air. Like, I don't know... I don't know what... Like, they were, like, 30 feet up just walking along an invisible platform. And when I shot them, they would fall out of the sky to the ground. So that it's not like they were walking along some kind of unrendered platform. They were just, like fucking Nazis walking through the air. Now, of course, we all know, you know, the Nazis were big into the occult. Uh, you know, if you watch your, uh, watch your, uh, you know, amazing conspiracy fucking, uh, shows. Big into the occult. And, uh, you know, maybe they were fucking, they had, they were using Vril in their boots to power themselves to hover in the air. Because that was the only problem, is that they didn't have any Vril to power their saucer fleet to take over the world and or or they only had enough vril to get get their saucer fleet to the dark side of the moon to set up their base so i mean like and this is historical fact you can look that up on the google or the uh uh ask jeeves even you know you can look there and i think it's in an encyclopedia if yeah I, i'm pretty sure but they, you know, they didn't really cover that in this. They, they, they might, they might have. They're, spoilers. There might be a little vril in here, but still. Uh, and then there's another uh, glitch where I was driving around. I loaded my game, driving around, and the the pedestrian characters. If you feel water, if you hear water rushing in the background, that's my uh, crocodile fucking that I'm brewing up in the in the laundry room sink. It's going through its third cycle, so I'm, I'm filtering out all of the arsenic out of another barrel so that I can put it in the vril, or no vril, fucking the crocodile. I shouldn't be talking about it. I don't have any vril, I swear. But, uh, no, okay, so I'm walking along and the characters, uh, the, 
the the pedestrian characters, like the 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 side of their bodies streaked out into like a huge point in the sky. So I'd be driving, and all of a sudden, this you know this French lady'd be walking down the street, and then the side of her would just like go to warp speed out in front of my car. Pretty dope. That was crazy. I really enjoyed that. I, I reloaded the game and it stopped happening. And then, the best glitch of all. So I'm in a road race at the end. No spoilers there. You're driving a car. You're in a road race. And you, you, this situation happens and you end up in, you know, yeah, you're under the Eiffel Tower and you've got to get to some fucking place anyway. So I jumped in a car and I was trying to drive out from under the Eiffel Tower and I ended up fucking high centering my car on some like uh, fucking what do you call it stadium seating and I was driving and I was trying to fucking get the car out and I couldn't get the car out and I'm right underneath the Eiffel Tower you know, it was beautiful it was a nice day and you know granted there was a huge fire there and several dead Nazis but still it was, it was, it was a nice day and uh, I'm trying to get the car off the, the 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 fucking stadium seating in order to fucking drive to rescue some fucking chick or whatever. And I couldn't do it. So I decided, well, I'm just going to get out of the car. So I get out of the car, and I end up glitched halfway up the Eiffel Tower, underneath, like, in between two platforms that, like, weren't rendered. So I was literally just running around the Eiffel Tower, the middle of the Eiffel Tower. I couldn't get down. I couldn't jump up, I couldn't do anything, so I was literally just trapped there. So I was trapped there for about five minutes, I was really enjoying myself, it was a nice day, like I said, and uh, I couldn't get out. I, I was like, holy shit, I've glitched myself into a fucking, into the, into the actual, like, I, I was like merged with the Eiffel Tower. And so I just planted a bomb there and blew myself up. and ended up at the bottom of the Eiffel Tower. But that was an amazing glitch. So you got flying Nazis, teleportation, fucking uh, people warp going to like warp speed. They're, that's half their body going to warp speed. Amazing. But yeah, if you, if you this is really fun. I fucking really enjoyed it. I mean, it's probably, you can probably pick this up for five bucks or coerce a uh, hairy member of fucking YouTube to mail it to you for nothing because that's what I did Chad Bailey sent this to me and you know tickle him in the right spot and he'll do anything for you you know what I'm saying am I right <laughs> uh, so yeah saboteur go and pick that up and shoot a Nazi unless you're a Nazi sympathizer and then you know this game's not for you you know if you're a, if you're pro Nazi I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't be playing this game. Because you shoot a fuckload of Nazis in this. Like, your day is spent shooting fucking Nazis. Blowing up Nazis. It's all, it's basically like Duck Hunt, except instead of duck, it's Nazi. And instead of hunt, it's shoot. So yeah, Saboteur, go pick it up from your local hairy guy or buy it at a store. Fuck it, you know what I mean? There's always that. That was my review of the Saboteur. I hope you all enjoyed it. It's got a good story. The dialogue's alright, I guess. Uh, you know, it's kind of cornball at times, but it makes up for it with the flying Nazis. They're all over the place, dude. They were fucking everywhere. I was like, I couldn't believe how many flying Nazis there were. I must have saw at least ten. So, go figure that one out. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some shit that I got, right? Now, I know you're thinking, fuck, Jesus, Grub, you fucking show us shit. It's a fucking pickup video. You, you tricked us. It's bait and switch. We thought it was going to be some, some of your fucking classic witty banter that we all love. I mean, that's, that's no citation needed on that one, dude. That's fucking Wikipedia fucking true. So, 
look that up, you're thinking, oh, fuck, we were open for just like, you know, 20, 30, 40 minutes of just witty banter. And now look at him. Now he's fucking holding up games that he bought. Oh, oh well, fucking bait and switch. I can hear the fucking thumbs down clicking. Click, 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 I never promised you anything. You know, look at the fucking channel description. Does it say, you know, I'm going to fucking regale you with fucking witty stories 24 hours a day? No. Go do something else. If you got something better to do, you know, like, well, I got, I have to do something else. My drain is plugged in the bathroom. I got to clean the fucking gross fucking hair out of the drain. You know, and now all of a sudden, you know, here's this fucking idiot talking on the TV screen, and I thought I was going to have a break, but no, I've got a fucking that green hair that comes out of the thing. <laughs> now i got to clean that, because this fucking idiot promised me, you know, some great content. Now he's fucking just holding up shit that he bought. Well, like I said, fuck off then. Go drink some soap, you prick. It's not my fucking fault. You have no attention span. All right, so we're going to start off with uh, some... Uh, we'll, we'll start with PlayStation. Because, you know, uh, PlayStation... What, what can be said about PlayStation that hasn't already been said? What are we at, 15 minutes? Oh, yeah, I can fucking... I can do this. I can do this. Need another drink. Have a drink at home. If you join me at the same time, have a drink. Let's start with PlayStation. I got a bunch of PlayStation shit here. I bought it over the course of fucking the last like fucking four months. I haven't showed it because, you know, like I said, I'm a busy guy. You know, I too have to pull gross fucking shit out of the fucking drain of the fucking tub. Like big long strands of fucking awful green looking shit. And then I throw it in the toilet and it's floating in there and it looks gross. Sadical. Yeah, Sadako from fucking... It's Sadako living down the drain of my bathtub. And it ain't my hair. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not my hair. It's it's much easier to deal with the tumble knees that are all over the, the floor. Oh, yeah. If, yeah, there's, there's not just hair in the drain, people, over here. Wooden floor means... Tumble Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got a wooden floor here. So there's fucking... Basically, like, every time you sweep, you sweep up a fucking wig. Like, in the in the dustpan, there's a fucking wig. But they collect in little balls. Yeah, right? well, yeah, they do. There's... They're, they're, uh, and then, yeah. Underneath the TV, there's at least one merkin. Yeah. Google that. I'm thinking about just, like, letting them collect and just putting, like, little googly eyes on them once they get big enough. We can name them. It's like introduce them to Sadako. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's like a fantasy camp living here. All right. So what was I saying? PlayStation. Yeah. So fucking sit back, relax. Fucking it's PlayStation time. Cause everyone loves a PlayStation. You know, we all enjoy sitting there, and especially the original PlayStation, when the laser starts to go and you've got to start propping it up on your fucking TV remote or playing it upside down. Everybody's done that. And if you haven't done that, well, you haven't lived. So, we'll start out with PlayStation 1. Now, these games I bought over the last fucking long time, I haven't... Dude, these are old games. I don't remember when I got them. It was one of those thrift runs I did with my sister, probably in fucking... November. So, fuck you. You know what I mean? They're old. And they're old anyway. They were old to begin with. And now they've, they've got older. Just sitting on my shelf. So here's one. This is really exciting. Uh, great PlayStation game. Everyone's head is a triangle. And everyone's hand is a triangle. And they run around water skiing or wakeboarding on a bunch of triangles. It's what the fuck is this even called? Burstrick Wakeboarding. Sounds exciting. I think, I think this was a buck. That's why I got it. Burstrick? 
If anyone can tell me what that fucking is referencing, is, is there like a guy that's <laughs> named Burstrick? Is he yeah. big in the whiteboard? Yeah, well, is it like Tony Hawk's thingy or like. Well, I hope not. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather have Tony Hawk's thingy. So it's <laughs> Burstrick wakeboarding. I'm never going to play it, dude. Trust me, this is like, you know. I bought that when, you know, I was. I, I, I was young and naive, so you know. Remember that I was just—I was just. Remember when I first started, uh, and I was just a, a, a confused, young, Canadian country boy who came to the big city, <laughs> and you know, I—I I had to like, you know, work myself into society and try and figure out how this big city living uh, was, you know. So that's when I bought that. Here's one. Hey, guess who's back, everyone? Not just me. Uh, Pac-Man's back. Can you believe it? Well, he was back in fucking the year. Holy shit, dude. 1999. Pac-Man's back in 20th anniversary Pac-Man world. Twentieth anniversary Pac-Man World. <sighs> I'd say that twice to get it uh, fully through there, eh? Oh, it looks amazing too. It looks like I mean, if you've never played Pac-Man before, <laughs> just shoot yourself because <laughs> it's back. Now, ho ho! Fuck Burstrick boarding. You know. I've always wanted to be cool, you know, I, I, I work really hard at it, you know what I mean, like, and, you know, this doesn't happen just magically, it takes two hours in the morning in front of a fucking mirror to get this cool, so I thought, well, fuck, what, I wish there was a shortcut for me to be cool, you know what I mean, I wish I could be cool, like, you know, fucking just instantly. Well, now you can with Cool Borders 2. And I mean, look at this guy on there. That guy's pretty cool. He's paying money for all that equipment so that he can go and be cold in the snow. That's money well spent right there. You gonna fucking focus? Yeah, you twat. The ultimate snowboarding experience. You don't even need to go snowboarding because this is the ultimate experience. If you went snowboarding, you'd be fucking ripped off because you could be doing this. So now I wake up in the morning, I take a look at the cool borders too, and I'm instantly cool. So guess what? Anyone who's trying to be cool, you're wasting your fucking time. Go to a thrift store. Those things are like fucking 50 cents a buck for games like that. Now I'm cool. Here's another one. Ho ho, what have we here? Have you ever wanted to Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back? Because now you can. With Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. I never played a Crash Bandicoot game and I really don't think I'm gonna play this one. But this was cheap. I think it was fucking two bucks or the lady thought it was a CD and charged me 99 cents. Some old daughtery lady at the fucking place. Oh, what is that? A music album? Oh, it's got a lovely little fox on the front. Oh, is that for your little niece or nephew? That's right, lady. It's a CD. I'll pay you 99 cents for that. And she was like, that's lovely. I'm old. I was like, nice talking to you, old lady. I'll take this music CD and give it to my niece or nephew. And it turned out it was Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. So I hope you like that story. You, you can use it yourself at home. Uh, or, you know, at Christmas or any of the uh, holidays, you, when you're gathered around with your family, you can sit there and go, you know, I got this great story. And just... Instead of me doing the thing, put yourself in the situation. And, I mean, fun will be had by all. I suspect both hijinks and uh, uh, zany antics to uh, ensue. 
And here's a couple games, and they're both Disney games. And I don't like Disney. Because it's fucking insidious. You know what I mean? Like, if I had a choice of running around shooting fucking Nazis, or shooting fucking Disney's, I'd be shooting Disney's. <laughs> so, do the math. Here's one. Ho ho, it's, it's, it's great. It's a movie I never saw, and never will. And it's the game version of it. It's Walt Disney's Tarzan. Seriously? Didn't Tarzan have sex with monkeys? Did they portray that in this? Wasn't he like half monkey, half uh, chimpanzee, half uh, Lord Greystoke? I don't think that adds up. No, it doesn't. But he was he was half something. And didn't he do that? Didn't he walk around? Didn't wasn't he also like didn't he wear a loincloth? You can't show that in a Disney cartoon. I'm pretty sure. Like look at that. You can see I see like I, I think if you tilt this the right way, I can see a nut coming out of that fucking thing. So it's great. So the guy's busting a nut out of his fucking G string and you just just make it a woman. And then, uh... Well, then what's coming out from her <laughs> fucking G-string, then? And then, uh, then the people will rage. And he's, she's got... Oh, she's got okay boobs, if it is a woman. Anyway, so Tarzan, I don't know what happens. He runs around, he fucking has sex with monkeys, and... What's he doing there? He's fighting some kind of a jaguar? Or a leopard? Or... Some kind of made-up Disney thing? Who cares? It doesn't matter probably fucking evil it's probably some kind of subliminal message in that telling you to fucking eat babies or something so Tarzan I don't know fucking who cares it was a couple bucks you know what I mean like you always hear these Disney games oh the fucking Disney games are really good man fucking awesome action platform you'd be surprised you know like usually fucking movie tie in games are shitty but those Disney fucking games are really good here's one and it's another movie I haven't seen, and I'm not going to see it. Um, I don't plan on playing the game either. It's... And I know, you're like, oh, but I thought you were I thought you were a player and not a collector. <laughs> Nitpicker! I told you, I bought these when I was fucking young and dumb and the other part. <laughs> it's Aladdin. Nasira's... Revenge. So evidently, something bad happened to old Aladdin, and it's happening again because there's someone's getting their revenge. Wasn't there some kind of a fucking yeah? There was a genie in that. Wasn't that? Didn't that get voiced by Mister the Dead Guy, Robin Williams? Yep. Oh well, you can relive those days when people who are dead now weren't dead let's go and move on to the playstation 2 27 minutes fuck i'm doing this you fucking stick around sit your fucking ass down don't go anywhere because the fun's just starting here's one oh what have we here uh fuck P ps2 this one it's it's another wrestling game I don't remember when I got this a long time ago, dude. And it was cheap. All this stuff was cheap, or I wouldn't have got it. Well, one thing wasn't cheap, and I got it fucking by accident. It's, oh, it's another wrestling game, and it has all your favorites badly drawn on the cover. It's Showdown Legends of Wrestling. You got your you got your Honk Hogan there. You got your uh, Andre the Gibbon. You got your uh, Nacho... Uh, man, you got fucking the penultimate warrior. You got uh, Stink and uh, Jake the Snake Rogers down here. So all your favorites, and they're they're back in Legends of Wrestling. Fuck off. Here's one. Ho ho. What have we here? got this 50 cents 
That's right, 50 cents. There are still games out there that are 50 cents. And guess who bought it? <laughs> this fucking guy. And guess who's going to play it? Not me. It's Metal Gear Solid 3 Substance. Metal Gear goes online, so I probably can't even play this. So I, I basically wasted 50 cents. I could have bought fucking... What can you get for 50 cents? Sour candy. I could have got sour candy, and instead I got this. But yeah, it's two discs, uh, you know, of whatever this game is. So there we go. Enjoy that. That's going to be fun when uh, I die and it gets sold to someone else. Here's one. Oh my god. Who likes puzzles? Put up your hand. Well. Here's the game for you. <laughs> it's and now uh, this is of course in the in it fall, goes into the series of this this it's number 3 in the series. And it's Mist 3 Exile, the perfect place to plan revenge. So it's a PS2 game, but it's one of those fucking lame point-and-click fucking adventures where you, like, basically get frustrated after 15 minutes. Because you can't, you have to, like, run back and forth clicking on fucking everything on the screen. But I bought it anyway. Here's one that I was going to show a long time ago. This is actually a good game. Like, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, geez, you've showed a bunch of fucking shit so far, really. I mean, to be honest, the stuff you're showing is fucking bullshit. Nobody would buy it. You know, except for the saboteur there. Most of the stuff is just fucking garbage. This is where I turn things around, man. This is where, like, the people who fucking sh turned the fucking show off already, they, they can, see, they're missing out. Now I've got the exclusive club here, fucking boneheads who are too lazy to fucking hit stop on it. Champions of fucking Norath. Run into this in a fucking thrift store, you know what I'm saying? I was like, what the fuck? You serious? Now granted, it's greatest hits, so, you know, I'm a fucking loser. And, I, you know, I probably, my cock fucking shrunk fucking two more inches. It's fucking, it's a fucking innie now. It's so fucking small because I bought this fucking greatest hits version you know like who's an idiot now i feel stupid even I've show work with either shape. it's all good baby it's nice to have reassurance uh about shrinkage but yeah so fuck you you think oh geez grub you're a fucking dork fucking look at all those shitty games you buy you're a fucking piece of shit you should fucking just fall off the fucking face of the earth. And then I hold this up and they're like, whoa, whoa wait a minute. I was wrong about you, grub. I was wrong all along. Now I feel stupid. Yeah, see? I told ya. <laughs> Ran into this one. Apparently I heard good things about it. Now I don't like fucking superheroes, you know. As a, I just as a rule, I think that it's kind of lame, and it's weak. But I got this game anyway because uh, you know it was, it's worth more than the fucking price I paid for it, which was like three bucks or something. So I figured, fuck it, you know what I mean? Maybe some bonehead in the future will buy it off me for more than three bucks. That's the way that this fucking brain works. It's always just ticking away, man. And that's Spider-Man: Shattered Dimensions. You got. This Spider-Man looks like some kind of Lucha Libre wrestler. You got the regular Spider-Man. You got Goggle Man. And you got this guy in the back that you can't see very well. So you can be all four. I didn't know there was more than one Spider-Man. But hey, I don't know fuck all about that shit. Because, you know, I don't read fucking comic books. But yeah, so I picked that up. Yeah, I might play it. You know, you never know. You know, just give me something to yell at. And here's a game I got. Now, I can't, I can't tell you where I got this game. I'm not at liberty to tell you where I got this game. <clears throat> I, it certainly wasn't mailed to me by anyone. 
that's for sure. And it certainly wasn't mailed to me by anyone who films like this. That would, uh, that never happened. So, <laughs> uh, don't even think it. Like, if you're thinking that, you're wrong. Uh, yeah, I may have got it at a store. I don't know. Only two people in the world know where I got this game from. Three people, including me. But I don't include myself because, you know, I'm not fucking egotistical. I don't talk about myself like that, you know? I'm not like that. I don't sit around fucking thinking, you know, like, Hey, Jeremy, what would you do if you were you? Well, what I would do if I was me is the right thing because I'm better than everyone else. That doesn't happen. But what I would do is... I would buy Demon Souls if I could. I wouldn't have it mailed to me by anyone, because that would be weird. But I got this game. Apparently it's really hard, because it says on the back, this is really hard. I had a sticker on it. I had to take the sticker off last night. But no one mailed this to me. Maybe they did. I don't know. Katkin, Katkin knows where it came from, but she's not allowed to say. I don't. I don't remember. Oh, okay. But now it didn't come from the mailbox. Yeah. It wasn't in the mailbox at any point. But yeah, so Demon Souls! Fuck, dude. <laughs> okay. 35 minutes. Okay, I can probably fucking motor through this shit. I ordered some stuff from uh, the Best Buy, which I, I'm going to show you one thing uh, from... Actually, no, fuck it. I'm just going to... Uh, here's the story. I, had ordered, I ordered some stuff from Best Buy, and I was a dollar under free shipping. And I was like, fuck this, I'm not paying fucking shipping on this stuff. I'm going to find something at Best Buy that's a dollar. Because I'm cheap, right? So, uh, you know, instead of paying something fucking astronomical amount of shipping where they fucking basically fucking screw you up the butt with a fucking broom handle to mail it to you uh, as the cost to mail it to you I I'm, th I'm like I'm gonna find something at fucking Best Buy for a dollar now you know they don't sell gum online or sour candy or whatever it is so I'm like I'm looking I'm gonna look through the games I'm gonna look through the games for a dollar game couldn't find any dollar games my final fucking desperation search. I finally found a fucking 99 cent game there. And it's gold. It's still sealed. <laughs> You're never going to guess what it is. Because you'd be like, dude, what kind of game's a dollar at Best Buy that's any good? Seriously. Like, this... It, obviously, uh, uh, Grub Gun's lost his mind, right? Wrong. Still sealed. 99 cents. Time to live the best of both worlds with Hannah Montana the movie. Still sealed. 99 cents. This this gave me free shipping at Best Buy. This That's what makes this game... This game actually saved me money by buying it. So... It's a magical new world. It's a magical fucking new world. Now, granted, this is Walt Disney's Hannah Montana. So, you know, there's probably some kind of a fucking animated fucking weasel or something in the fucking thing that's like, Hey, Hannah Montana, we should fucking get in some kind of a fucking adventure. And she's like, hey, that's a great idea, animated weasel. You and me should fucking crawl down that storm drain and see what the fucking, if it leads to a magical fucking kingdom. Hey, that's a fucking dope plan. I'm gonna crawl down a fucking storm drain and see if there's a fucking magical kingdom down there. Yeah, and then when we're down there, we'll be in this magical kingdom and it'll prompt us to sing fucking songs about it. Of course! It's fucking Disney! That's what we do! And then we'll meet up with some fucking other animated fucking cocksucker who will fucking try and kill us or something. Yay! And then they go down there and there's like several costume changes, I would imagine. But, uh, yeah, so fuck you. This game fucking saved me money. So, who's, who's stupid now, huh? Not this guy! Not this guy! 
Yes! Now, I already have this on the uh, 360. Uh, was also mailed to me by a uh, certain uh, hairy uh, fucking guy from uh, America. But, uh, you know, maybe I could, like, waggle my Wiimote while I play this. The excitement mounts. <laughs> Now, you know, everyone knows how much I like the original Nintendo. 40 minutes. Unbelievable. Feel free to play this at 1.25 speed. Don't play it at 1.5 speed because then I start talking too fast and you can't understand what I'm saying. And my, the timing of all my jokes gets thrown, get thrown off. So everyone knows how much I like the original Nintendo. I mean, like, I go on and on about how I love cartridges and I love cleaning the fucking contacts when they go green and you fucking can't play it and the little red light flashes on and off and you fucking play it on that little fucking square controller that hurts your fucking hands. And all the games are fucking gay. But uh, it doesn't matter because I found four fucking boxed NES games for two bucks a piece. And these games are, like, virtually brand new on, t on the inside. The outside, you know, of course, they've been around for fucking 20 years sitting in some weirdo's fucking house who, like, fucking waggles his Wiimote to Hannah Montana all fucking day. And, uh, you know, I uh, I ended up uh, uh, buying them from a thrift store for two bucks each. These were in with the fucking board games. So I don't think the old ladies knew what was going on with these. They're like, well, it says board game on this one. So they all must be board games. Let's put them in with the board games. That's a great idea, Mabel. Let's put them in with the board games. Because they look like board games. Yeah. So, you know, I ended up fucking over a couple old ladies again. And a charity. So, what what can you do? You know, shit happens. Here's one. Ho, ho. It's, it's Barker Bill's trick shooting. Step right up. It's a sideshow action with a carnival atmosphere. And this is a light gun game, as you can see. Because it says light gun game. So I don't know what that is, and I'm never going to play it. But ho ho, for two bucks, fuck you, man. This is the only one that's kind of fucking jacked. See, it's torn there, and it doesn't have a sleeve. But all the rest are in perfect shape. Like this one. Well, not perfect shape, but like I said, perfect shape for for being in some fucking jerk-off's fucking basement for fucking 20 years. It's tennis! Which I thir th first thought it was a, a misprint, and the, the game was called Dennis. And this is Dennis. And he's just out happen happening, he just happens to be playing tennis. But no, it's tennis. And it's about tennis. So, am I in focus? Fuck you, twat. Seriously? No, come on, guys. Play nice. There we go. So, yeah, tennis. And look at this. Check this out. You see the, the uh, hang tab thing? It's still completely intact on the back. So, for all you people who think uh, that... Intact hang tabs are fucking really neat. Well, pull out your ween and start fucking lotioning up because check that shit out. So yeah, tennis. I don't know. Fuck off. I'm. I gotta be in focus. Come on. This is gold. Tennis, and it's like it's it's dude. These things have everything on the inside of them, and they they've got the sleeve and the the piece of styrofoam. This is the real fucking deal, man. Here's another one. These people on the cover of this game are having so much fun that it must have been because cocaine was fucking readily available back in the day. It's Anticipation. Nintendo's first board game. Is it a board game, Mabel? Oh, I think it is. Let's put it with the board games. That's a good idea. Then some <coughs> nice young man will come along and purchase it and enjoy a board game. And 
That's exactly what happened. Anticipation. Look at these guys. I mean, dude. Seriously. I've never been that fucking high in my life. And I've been fucking high, dude. I've been blackout high. That kind of shit just creeps me out, man. Party fun for all ages. Everyone there is above fucking 30. Yeah, they're all the same age, though. That's the thing, aren't they? Like, they all look like they're all a group of peers, aren't they? Yeah, well, like I said, I, like, I've like i never been that fucking stoned that this would be fun. And like I said, I've been fucking taken to the hospital in a fucking yeah. ambulance stoned, and I never thought I've never been having that much fun. So anyway, but this is, dude, fuck you, dude. It's all in there. Play with LSD. Yeah, I you know, dude. I've been I've been so fucking high on LSD that I thought fucking everything was a cartoon, and even still, I wasn't having that much fun. So, anyway, two bucks. Fuck you guys. And this one, fucking talking Super Jeopardy. This one. It's still in its fucking bag. So the guy who spent spends all of his days and nights fucking, you know, uh, wanking to exercise tapes, never even played this. So they're all like brand new. Super Jeopardy! By Game Tech. Pick those up. I mean, imagine fucking running into those for two bucks a piece. Seriously, guys, you know? Put yourself in my position. What would you have done? Here's the last thing. It's Nintendo. Now, I put a pre-order on this thing. I'm going to wrap this up really quick. Fucking 50 minutes. Who's going to sit through this bullshit? I, I'm surprised I did. I mean, Katkin's sitting through it because she's not listening. But, um, put a pre-order on this and... I forgot I had my pre-order on it. I would have canceled the pre-order. And, uh, you know, not, not because, like, I don't like the game, but because I didn't really want this. But all of a sudden, it, I get a shipping notification that this item has been shipped, and I'm like, oh, for fuck's sakes, dude. I just spent fucking 50 bucks on something I didn't want to spend. And it came in the mail, and it's kind of nice, and, you know, fuck, I, I like shit like this, but I don't know if I'm ever going to haul this cocksucker out of the box. And it's the Zelda Wii U Twilight Princess box set with the fucking amiibo in there of, like, which is the, the it's abs the, the fucking, that's the nicest fucking amiibo I've ever seen. That thing's sweet. This was a really good game. Like, I mean, I got no problem with the game, but, like, having it again... Do I need it again? I got it on the fucking Wii. U, Wii. Mind focus? Got it on the Wii. Got it on the fucking GameCube. Now I got it on the fucking this? You know, maybe in fucking... I don't remember very much of this game. This is a game that me and Kat can tag team played. I don't remember that much of it. I remember it was kind of creepy. And there, there were some good good times were had by all, I think. But, you know, maybe I'll play it in the future. You know, it's like the Wind Waker HD. You know, it's apparently it's so much different than the original. It's partly sarcastic. But apparently it's different than the original and it looks really gorgeous. I might play it one day, you know what I mean? And I'm not really down with replaying shit that I've already played. Because I got shit to do, as I said, you know? I mean, like, that. those drains don't clean themselves, you know? I don't know, some magic fucking drain-cleaning robot that comes out of here that says, you know, Master, will you... What would you like me to do today? Should I clean the fucking green, slimy fucking hair out of the drain? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, robot, go and do that. That sounds like a good idea. Good, after that, would you like me to wank you off five more times? No, actually I wouldn't, because your fucking hands are like fucking clamps, and you, you basically uh, almost pinch my bird off every time you do it. Still, you have to give it a chance, you know what I mean? Like, it might learn, you know, just like they always say, you know, the robots might take over the world, and, and they're, they're going to do it by fucking, first they're going to do it by uh, wanking you off. 
So, okay, this has been Grub Gun. Fuck off. Go and fucking eat a dick and roll in fucking fecal matter somewhere. Don't. You don't have to. That's just a suggestion. Did it get darker in here? What happened? It's fucking camera, dude. I'm getting a better camera. It's <laughs> <laughs> bullshit. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be hard at work, so, you know, there'll be, oh, videos will be few and far between, so I'd nurse this one. I'd watch this one twice, personally, because, you know, you might not get another one for another two, two weeks, two, three weeks. You never know, man. It's Mel C. Okay, so it's been Grub Gun, fuck off. Hope you enjoyed everything uh, as much as I did because, you know, hey, I'm all about enjoying shit. Uh, it's been Grub Gun and Katkin's voice in the background there, the voice <laughs> of wisdom. Uh, 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 this is, I'm signing out. Have a good thing. Clean a drain. <laughs>